division. And actually, it's called nuclear division. And the two terms we just, that describes nuclear... Um, Mitosis and meiosis? <laughs> yeah. yeah, meiosis. That's one type of nuclear division. And then there's mitosis. And uh, generally, I, I would ask about eukaryotes and prokaryotes. Of course, prokaryotes do not have nuclei, but only eukaryotes have nuclei. And mitosis is how the nucleus divides. And meiosis is also describes how the nucleus divides. And a quick definition of mitosis is equal, equal division. That says that one nucleus is going to divide and form two equal nuclei, meaning that the amount of DNA in the, uh, in, in the mother nucleus will be equal to the DNA in the daughter nuclei. And a quick definition for meiosis is reduction division. So the nuclei here the nuclei in meiosis is going to have half the amount of DNA. Also in my, uh, meiosis, we have two divisions. So you see the nuclei, uh, the nucleus is un will undergo two divisions. So the first division will form two nuclei. And then the uh, second division will form another two nuclei, which gives us a total of four, where this nucleus is 2N, which is diploid, and each one of these are going to be haploid. Now, the terms that we use to describe and go through all of these phases is what we're going to be looking at today. And uh, let's take the more simple one, is, is mitosis. And you know mitosis to be, have uh, four stages, prophase, metaphase, yeah, metaphase, anaphase, and anaphase, telophase. and then telophase. Notice I did not mention interphase because in genetics, and should be any science, interphase is not a stage of division. Only prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. So if you write interphase, then you're going to lose points. And now to describe prophase, what happens during prophase, what happens during metaphase, what happens during anaphase, and what happens during telophase. And most of you remember this from your general biology. Um, there are a number of things, and, and I can just kind of go, go through them. The, if it's an animal cell, centrioles move to opposite poles. If it's a plant cell, you should not use the word centrioles because centrioles have not been observed in higher plants. So in prophase, centrioles, if it's an anim animal cell, they divide and start migrating to opposite poles. Spindle fiber form, that's in both animals and plants. Uh, spindle fibers attached to centromeres both animals and plants, and let's see, and the, um, and the, and the, and the, the chromosomes in prophase are practically no real organization, or no position in the, in the cell. It doesn't have a real position in the cell. So they are kind of looking randomly scattered there. The other thing that I forgot was that the nuclear membrane starts to disappear. At the end of prophase, there is no nuclear membrane. At the beginning of prophase, of course, the nuclear membrane is intact, but it slowly uh, degenerates. Now, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase, unlike prophase, all have a specific, the chromosome have a specific position in the cell, a very specific. And, you, and that's how you remember it, that metaphase, the chromosome is in the middle of the cell, Anaphase, the chromosome are moving away from the middle of the cell, and telophase, the chromosome have reached their poles. However, you have chromosomes moving to the center of the cell, 
And so sometimes we look at what's called a pro-metaphase. And then some will argue a metaphase to anaphase, and some will argue an anaphase to telophase. So you really, it's sometimes it's very difficult to tell which one, what stage is in. But you know the end point at the end of telophase is that the chromosomes are at the end of the pole. In anaphase, the perfect uh, anaphase, the chromosomes are aligned in the middle of the cell. And metaphase, I'm sorry, anaphase, the chromosomes are moving away from the middle of the cell. The other thing that happens in anaphase is that the centromere divides and start to move to opposite poles. Metaphase, the centromeres are aligned in the middle of the cell, and of course prophase, they're kind of scattered, and they are um, getting ready, 